Hey, this is Dave from Unipro, and in this video, I'm going to show you how Facebook jail works, how to get out of Facebook jail if you're already in it, and how to avoid going to Facebook jail in the future. Let's dive in. If you're using Facebook to grow your business, you have to be active on Facebook. Posting here and there just isn't going to cut it. You're going to need to be commenting. You're going to have to be sending out friend requests. You're going to have to be engaging with people. You're going to have to be sending people messages. This is what Facebook marketing is all about. But there's a fine line to walk. Facebook is very protective of its members. And if your activity shows that you're spammy or that you're a threat to the community in any way, Facebook can send you to jail in a hurry. You should go to jail. Well, what is Facebook jail? Facebook monitors the actions of its members very, very closely to make sure that nobody is taking advantage of the platform. No one's abusing Facebook. And if it sees anything that it doesn't like, it can start to limit the privileges of one of its members. Now, there are two levels of Facebook jail. The most serious type of Facebook jail is where your Facebook account actually gets locked down. So your Facebook account gets locked. This means that you can't log into Facebook. It also means that all of your Facebook content is removed from the platform. All of your posts, all of your comments, everything is gone. Now, I know that sounds really scary, but the good news is that you can recover your account. And if your Facebook goes to this level of jail, it's going to prompt you with some security questions that'll allow you to prove that you're the owner of the account and that you're not abusing the platform. And then your Facebook account and all that content can come back. Now, having said this, sometimes this can take a number of days. Sometimes it can take weeks. Sometimes it can take months. And in some cases, your Facebook account won't come back ever. It'll never be unlocked locked. In that case, you'd have to start a new Facebook account altogether if you want to continue using the platform. And I know that sounds very serious, but do keep in mind that this is the much less common version of Facebook jail. In order for this to happen, Facebook would have to think that your account had been breached security wise or that you're really doing something that was threatening to the Facebook platform. The good news is that you can do something to preemptively prevent your account from ever getting locked down from going to this level of Facebook jail. And it's called Facebook's two factor authentication. Two factor authentication is simply an added level of security that lets Facebook verify that you're the right account owner and that you're not doing any actions that would actually pose a security threat or a risk to any of the other Facebook users. And so if you want to learn more about two factor authentication, it's very easy to set up. You can do it in just a couple of minutes. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check out the steps that Facebook recommends. So that's the most serious form of Facebook jail, but the much more common version of Facebook jail is what's known as a soft block, a soft block. And Facebook gives a soft block. It basically restricts your actions or restricts the features that you can use on Facebook for a set period of time if it thinks that you're doing something too quickly or you're doing too much of something. This means that you can still use your Facebook account, you just won't be able to use a specific function in that Facebook account. For example, if Facebook sees that you're using Messenger too quickly, you're sending out too many messages in a short period of time, it might give you a soft block on Messenger. Then if you try and send out another message in Messenger, you'll likely get a notification from Facebook saying something like, this feature has been restricted from your account. That means that you've been soft blocked, you're in Facebook jail. Or another example might be if you're commenting too quickly on a specific post, Facebook might see that and say, we're going to slow you down. So we're going to give you a soft block from commenting. Again, you'll likely get a warning from Facebook saying that this feature has been restricted and now you're soft blocked. You're in Facebook jail. Well, what are the most common causes of a soft block? People go to Facebook jail all the time for soft blocks. And usually it's for one of four reasons. They're sending too many messages in messenger. They're commenting too quickly. They're tagging too many people on a single post or they're sending too many friend requests. And as I mentioned, when you go to Facebook jail for one of these four reasons, in most cases, Facebook is going to give you a warning. So it'll be very clear that you've received a soft block and that you're now in Facebook jail. Well, maybe it's too late. Maybe you already ended up in Facebook jail. Maybe you're already soft blocked. What should you do right now? Well, there are three steps to follow. The first is simply wait. The good news about ending up in Facebook jail due to a soft block is that it's very temporary. In fact, in most cases, the soft block lasts just 24 hours. I will say there's a caveat though. If you get soft blocked for a specific action, so let's say for example, you commented on posts too frequently or too many comments and Facebook saw that as sort of spammy, it tells you that you're in Facebook jail, that feature's disabled, you can't comment for 24 hours. If after 24 hours, you come back in and you start commenting again, Facebook can start to detect a pattern and that soft block, your term in jail, can get longer and longer and longer. So if you're in Facebook jail, first step is just to wait, give it 24 hours. 
The second step is to continue using Facebook. This is actually a mistake that many Facebook marketers make is they end up in Facebook jail and they say, okay, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna log out of Facebook. On the contrary, we actually are benefited by continuing to use Facebook. Here's why. If a spammer is, let's say, using Messenger to message people and try and sell them something through Messenger and is sending out hundreds or maybe even thousands of messages and they get a soft block, they go to jail. Now, if that person really is a spammer, the only reason they're on Facebook was to send messages. And Facebook knows that that spammer is likely going to wait until the soft block is lifted. And then what's that person going to do? they're gonna go right back to spamming people in Messenger. They're not really on Facebook to use Facebook as a social media platform. You don't wanna do that. Instead, don't look like a spammer. If you get soft block, keep using the platform by doing other types of actions. You can like people's posts, you can comment on some posts, you can maybe create a piece of content. You could tag a couple people on a piece of content that you've created. You're being social on a social media platform. That's what Facebook likes. And doing that shows that you're not a spammer, you're actually using the platform as it's intended. That's step number two. Step number three is as you do this, as you continue using the Facebook platform, just slow down. You need to slow down. So what we don't wanna do is, again, let's use that example of sending too many messages in Messenger. You get soft blocked, you end up in jail, you can't use Messenger. What you don't wanna do is now go and start commenting and sending out hundreds of comments or tagging hundreds or thousands of your friends on different pieces of content. That shows more spammy behavior. So while you do wanna keep using the Facebook platform, you probably wanna do it at a little bit of a slower pace so that Facebook sees this was an anomaly. This is not how you typically act. This Facebook jail sentence should be limited to 24 hours and then it should be lifted completely. So that's how to get out of Facebook jail if you're already there. But more importantly, how do you avoid going to Facebook jail in the first place or avoid going to Facebook jail again if you've already been there? Well, there's two variables that you need to consider. The first variable is volume and the second one is speed. So we've got volume and speed. Let me give you an example. Imagine that you're a health coach and you work with moms who have just given birth. You help them get back into shape after pregnancy and giving birth. You probably want to be going out on Facebook and connecting with new moms, right? That just makes sense. That's what networking is all about. It's about connecting with people who you could potentially help or who could potentially help you. And so you probably want to be sending friend requests to new moms. A lot of Facebook marketers, this is how they'll do it. They'll go and join a group that's full of hundreds or maybe thousands of moms, and then they're going to just start sending out friend requests. Start sending out friend requests really, really quickly. Start sending out friend requests to all the members in this group. This is the wrong way to approach Facebook. In fact, if that's the method that you use, you're probably going to get, end up in Facebook jail. Instead, you do want to network. That's what social media is all about. But you want to measure your volume and you want to measure your speed. Let me show you how we do this. So we use a tool called Unipro, and I'm gonna show you a couple examples in here how we monitor our volume and our speed. One of the tools that we use is this Gain Friends by Groups, and this allows you to do exactly like what we were just talking about in that example. Imagine you're a health coach and you wanna target new moms. This allows you to go into groups of new moms and send out friend requests to them. So let me show you an example. I'm gonna scroll down here and you're gonna see that in our options here, we can tell the volume, how many friend requests we want Unipro to send out for us. So in this case, I could choose 10 all the way up to 100. So if I'm worried about getting soft blocked, what do I do? I set a smaller volume. So maybe I'll do 30 friend requests. That's volume. The second variable is speed. The mistake most marketers make is they go into a group and they just start clicking that friend request button and very quickly they're gonna get soft blocked. They're gonna end up in Facebook jail. We avoid that by making sure that our speed is something that Facebook says is okay. So here's an example. You can see it says, how much time would you like between friend requests being sent? And I could do it very quickly if I wanted to, or if I wanted to play it safe, I can slow it down. So in this example, I'm gonna send out 30 friend requests and Unipro is gonna use a time interval between those friend requests of somewhere between one to two minutes. So it's gonna vary that time interval between those friend requests so that I'm safe. I'm not gonna get soft blocked. I'm not gonna end up in Facebook jail. So that's one example. Let me show you another one. We also do this when it comes to tagging. And so we have a tool here called Tag for Attention where it allows us to tag people on pieces of content that we've created that we know they might wanna see. And again, if I take a look at the options here, check it out. 
we have an option to change the volume. How many people do I wanna tag at a time? And so I could do a very small batch. I could tag five people at a time. Or if I feel comfortable increasing my volume, I can increase that all the way up to 50, which is the maximum number of people that can be tagged on a face in a Facebook comment at a single time. And then similar, we can also change the speed. And so if I wanted to be very safe, I could make the speed of these tags very long. So in this case, I've got it set to 20 minutes. So here we're gonna do a batch of 50 people being tagged on a particular post, which is the maximum Facebook allows. And then Unipro is gonna wait for 20 minutes giving a lot of downtime in between the next batch of tagging that happens. And you can see how doing this really manipulates those two variables, the volume and the speed, and this keeps us safe. It prevents us from getting soft blocked. It keeps us out of Facebook jail. So now you might be asking, well, what volume and what speed is safe for you to use on Facebook? And if you're asking that question, great. I'm glad you're asking that question. That's exactly what you should be wondering. And the answer is, it is different for every Facebook account. I like to use the term Facebook muscles when talking about the right volume and speed. Imagine this. Imagine that you've never exercised before in your life. You've never gone to the gym. You've never lifted a weight. If you go into the gym and start lifting weights, how much are you going to be able to lift? Probably not that much. You might use five pound weights or maybe 10 pound weights. Contrast that with someone who goes to the gym every day and they've been doing this for years, they go into the gym and they might lift hundreds of pounds. Your muscles are dictated by how often you go to the gym. The same thing is true for Facebook. If you're a Facebook marketer who's just starting out, your muscles are very weak. The volume that you can do activity on Facebook and the speed with which you can do that activity is less than a Facebook marketer who's been doing this for months or years. Let me show you another example. So I'm gonna go back over to Unipro here and I'm gonna go down to our tool here called Broadcast Messages. So Unipro, it manages all of our Facebook marketing, including sending out messages through Messenger. And so I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna schedule a broadcast to all of my new friends who I've made in the last 24 hours. And check this out, there's two variables here, just like we just talked about. There's volume, how many messages do we wanna send in a single batch? If I was brand new to Facebook marketing, I would probably start with the smallest amount. I might send 10 messages in a batch because my muscles, my Facebook muscles, they're weak. But as I develop those muscles, I can send out more and more messages and it's completely safe on Facebook. For me personally, I max it out. I send out the max number in a batch of messages that go through Messenger, I'll send 30 at a time. So that's volume. Now think about speed. For someone who's just starting out and they've got weak Facebook muscles, they probably wanna use a speed that's quite slow. So in this case, I might choose 10 minutes. And what this is gonna do, you can see here, Unipro is gonna wait 10 minutes between sending out each of these messages. So for someone with weak Facebook muscles, this is maybe what their settings would look like. They would send out 10 messages in a batch and give 10 minutes between each of those messages. Again, contrast that with someone like myself who's been doing Facebook marketing for years. I'll send out batches of 30 messages and I'll leave just five seconds between each message. And it's simply because I've worked this process, I've built up my Facebook muscles. This is completely safe for me. The good news is that you can build up your Facebook muscles very quickly, probably a lot faster than you can build real muscles in the gym. All it takes is a little bit of practice on your end. And it's especially easy if you use Unipro. We've built an amazing system to do all of your Facebook marketing for you and to build up your Facebook muscles so that you don't end up going to Facebook jail. If you wanna check out Unipro, simply go to unipro.com. I know you're gonna love it. So that's what I've got for you today. Now you know all about Facebook jail. You know what to do if you're in Facebook jail and you know how to avoid going to Facebook jail in the first place. If this video was helpful to you, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next upload. If you have any comments or questions about Facebook jail, just leave those below. I'm happy to help out. And before you go, I've got one more video for you. I know you're gonna love this. I'll see you over there.